if you have any questions, I can't go back. Hmm. I can't tell if it's sharing or not. I'm going to stop sharing for a second, you guys. Okay, it's recording. Wow, one of these days I won't be so computer illiterate. Yeah. Okay. Can everybody see the screen? Awesome. All right, creating healthy habits. This is a time, energy, and money saver. So your basic office needs, um, a computer, software, I say software, because you'll need like um, Microsoft Word or Excel are helpful. If you don't have an office program, it doesn't have to be Microsoft. Um, it can be Works, Word, Office, it doesn't matter. As long as you have something that you can read, excuse me, documents and create spreadsheets um, and create some sort of flyers or um, things that you can do for advertising is all you really need. I highly suggest if you don't already have it, getting some kind of backup for your computer. Um, and then a printer, a filing system. Again, it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. File folders um, and a plastic box. They have them for like six bucks at Walmart and the file folders fit perfect in them. Um, a designated workspace, and this is important. You need to be away from as many distractions as you can be when you work. I know that's not always possible in the places that we live, but um, to the best of your ability, make you a workspace. Supplies, um, a notebook, pens, binder, and a calendar. I cannot stress a calendar enough, whether you use the option on your phone, a desk calendar, a wall calendar, that is a must. And if you start these habits now, when you start having so many clients booking with you every day, things aren't going to be a struggle. It's going to go easy. So that's the point of this video or this presentation tonight. Okay, so files. And on the screen, I have the who or the how, what, and why. Get rid of that. Um, and what you want to do with the files, physically write down information in the file folders or on spreadsheets. Have something other than just saved on your computer. Um, how you can use the sheets from the Evolution Quick Start Launch Packet as a starting point. You want to write down usernames and passwords for your vendor sites and any pages that you're getting on. Um, training sites and notes. Um, you can write down dates of the online webinars. Um, you know, who the training is with and what it's for. Um, and any group pages that you're associated with for evolution. And the why is in case of a computer crash, you get locked out. You forget your username or password to a vendor site and it avoids duplicating vendor requests. So in our back office, it says in several different places, do not duplicate your request for vendor access because that will lock you out of the system. So it's really important that you keep track of who you're registering with and who you have not. And then the same thing, you know, it's not Archer's responsibility nor Evolution Travel's responsibility to know what your usernames and passwords are for. That is our responsibility as agents. You lose your username and password and end up getting yourself locked out, you're gonna to have to go right to the vendor and deal with the issue because Evolution does not have that information, neither does Archer Travel. Again, unless you're using Archer Travel credentials to log in on, that's a little different, but for these ones that you're registering yourself, it's very important that you keep track of them. Credentials. This is so important. Um, the what, again, physically write the information down in a file folder or in spreadsheet form, somewhere where it's handwritten and not just saved on your computer. Um, these include phone numbers for Archer and Evolution, as well as your team members. Um, Archer's credentials, that's our IATA, their address. 
their um, phone numbers. And again, you have to have certain information when you register with each vendor site. So I keep it in a little memo on my phone and I have a physical file for it as well so that I have it handy with me at all times. Their email addresses. The presentation that we show to potential partners. You know, have the, the address saved in a link or save the link in a memo in your phone or have it written down somewhere where you can retrieve it quickly and show it to somebody or give them the address. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's www.exclusivetravelrates.com. And that is the presentation that we show to all the um, potential partners. Again, if you're not having travel parties and you're not well versed enough to do them on your own, use this online presentation. It's amazing. And you don't have to do any of the presenting. You can give it to them. When they call you back and have questions, get someone on a three-way call. Boom. You've now got a potential partner in the pipe. So reservation forms, credit card authorization forms, your client checklist for booking. Again, keep them in a handy space. How? Keep them in a memo on your phone, create files, hang them near your workspace on a cork board or somewhere quick where you have quick reference to them. I also keep forms in my travel binder and we will go over my travel binder a little later. And the why? It saves time, saves energy, saves frustration, and helps you stay organized. Goal setting. This is so important, you guys. Um, and I cannot stress goals enough. Um, write your goals down and actually speak them out loud. I mean, the more you say it, the more it makes sense in your own head. And all of us have been in the same boat, you guys. When we first start, we're like, eh, I don't know. You know, I don't think I can make that. That seems a little far-fetched. Who cares? Go far-fetched, you know? Speak it out loud. I'm a one-star platinum, you know? <laughs> and uh, it, it isn't going to hurt anything. So speak your goals out loud. The how, um, vision boards are great, you guys. Um, one of our partners, Lori Glessner, I think is gonna be given a vision board um, training or class. I don't know if she's doing it as an event um, for local participants to show up or if she's doing it online. Um, as soon as I know, I'll pass on the information. Daily lists, memos on your phone. Again, I've been traveling a lot and there's this neat little feature on my phone where I can record myself talk. And for those of you who know me, I love to talk, so um, I love it. But again, I get some thoughts scrambled. You know, when I get back home, like, oh, what was that I was thinking of in the car? Now I turn the little recorder on and say it, and then it's saved in my phone as a memo. And it's way easy. Use, use everything at your power to help you stay focused, stay on task. Um, the why, it helps keep us focused, and it helps us evaluate where we are with our progress. Now, when it comes to your progress, I will say this and repeat it over and over. Your progress is your progress. You cannot compare um, yourself with any other agent, with any other team. You know, you're where you need to be. You know, and if you're not, then you need to step back and evaluate your goals. And again, goals, you can write them down and say them all day. If you are not putting into action, or taking the steps to accomplish those goals, that's all they're going to be is on a piece of paper, okay? So do not, even, do not compare yourself to anyone else. Where can we find the presentation in our back office? My phone is not acting right. Um, it is in a couple different locations. So... If you're not friends with me on Instant Messenger, go ahead and friend me on Instant Messenger on Facebook and I will get you the exact location. And I don't know who that was on there. It said like K8 or something. It didn't have a name. Sorry about that. So there you go. Um, potential clients and partners. What? This is the reason we're doing what we do. We all want clients and most of us want partners. Um, again, it's all about relationship building. It doesn't matter if you want clients and partners or just clients or just partners. It's all about building relationships. Um, I keep important dates on a calendar for all my clients and potential partners. 
anyone whose information I have, it goes in a calendar. That's their, um, any important dates, birthdays, anniversaries. If, you know, their kid, you, they post something on Facebook that says, oh, my kid has uh, graduation from sixth grade or whatever and has the date on there. I jot all that stuff down if, if that's one of my potential clients or one of my potential partners. And, you know, that's, um, it's so important, you guys. I keep a cheat sheet in each person's file and every person I do work with has a file. Um, and I include all notes taken, whether it be from a phone call, messenger, text, in person. If I'm not able to write it down or record it physically while we're talking, I do it as soon as I can while it's still fresh in my memory. So the how, send emails, letters via USPS, that's the postal service, for those of us who forget what that is, um, or send them instant messages regarding you know, these, um, these important milestones in their life. Create engagement. Again, it's all about relationship building. Does that mean they're going to sign up with you? No. Does that mean they're going to book a trip with you? No. But it shows that you really do care about them and that if they are thinking about letting you book them travel, they know you're going to go that extra 110%. Same for a client or potential partner, excuse me. You know, if, if you show them this much interest when they're, before they've signed up with you, then they know you're not just going to leave them floundering out there after they sign up. So establish clients and partners. And if you'll notice, the slides are almost exactly the same because there is no difference, you guys, between potentials and established. You treat them the same exact way and you will always keep them as an established client and an established partner um, because of your end. I'm not talking about anything on there and I'm talking about what we can do as individuals. So again, I always have a gift waiting in my client's room on their first night when they book travel. It's inexpensive. You can call the concierge or a lot of them have online gift shops, you know. So I drop 10, 15, 12 bucks for a cracker snack tray or maybe a bottle of wine or some chocolate covered cherries. It, it, I mean, it, you would not believe how far that goes, you guys, you know. And granted, you know, we might have only made $50 in their booking but I just gave up $10 to show them that I appreciate them doing business with me. And it is so appreciated by the clients. Um, I send them out a packet seven to 10 days before they travel. Um, again, it's that personal touch. I ask them to share their photos, review my page, share posts, join my email list, refer clients. I mean, that's the only difference um, with established clients and potential clients and partners. So, and again, the why, it shows you really do care. And you guys, word of mouth is the best advertisement we can get. We can put all the pretty flyers online and do all the stuff, but when people hear what a good time your clients had and they see it from someone else, that, I mean, that is priceless. So again, continue relationship building. And it all goes back to being organized, you guys. You can't pull off some of these tasks if you're scrambling and scrounging and always looking for stuff, or you can pull it off, but you'll be crazed. So training and certificates. Again, we all work hard to learn our craft. Pass this dedication to our, our clients and our potential partners, you know, and celebrate each one. Even if it's a simple little thing, it took you 10 or 15 minutes to finish a thing on Carnival Cruise Lines, put it online. You know, I print every single certi certification that I have gotten. I have them in my travel binder. I have them on my Facebook page in a folder in the album section. I post it on social media. You, I have some in frames hanging near my workspace. And I keep a copy of every single one of them in a file folder. And the why, it shows you're dedicated to continuously upgrade your knowledge in your field. And that speaks volumes. Calendar. This is so important, you guys, so important. Again, you need to use anything that you have at your disposal, but a calendar is of key importance. In the calendar, I put dates of travel when my clients are traveling, because if I'm gonna be out of town, um, I, they need to be able to get a hold of somebody. You know, if I'm on a cruise and don't have phone service, who are they gonna call when they have a problem? Again, Archer Travel, if there's no one on your team, that's up to doing that task for you or another evil agent that can help you out. You know, if you don't have anyone, Archer will do that for you. 
but be sure to give your clients the contact information of someone they can contact when they're on a trip. Nothing's more distressing to a client than when they're on a trip, they have a problem and they cannot get a hold of anyone. Deposit due dates are so important. If your client miss, if you miss a due date for your client, they can lose their trip. You know, and again, depending on what and how you book, they might lose money that they put down on the trip. Due dates are so important. Again, as soon when I'm booking a trip, every one of these dates are going right in the uh, my calendar on my phone. Every single one of them. Training, webinar, event dates. Um, I couldn't tell you how many times I'm on Facebook on on a. Tuesday night, we'll say, and I go, oh yeah, that training's tomorrow. I would love to get on that training. And then tomorrow comes and goes and then I see someone go, oh, great training. And I'm like, dang, I forgot about that training. So I started putting it in my phone. It sends me a little reminder 15 minutes before it starts. So tasks. Um, and again, the reminder feature in my phone calendar is wonderful. If you guys um, haven't used that, I'm telling you, it is way, way, way worth it. So, and again, what? Put everything on a calendar, everything. Follow-ups, dates, payment due dates. How? I personally use my phone, but whatever works for you, a desk planner, a, a open binder planner, a wall calendar, it doesn't matter, you guys, as long as you're writing them down. This is really key to staying on task. Schedule. Yeah, this is kind of insane. I, uh... I have a crazy schedule and you know, I'm not alone. There's a hundred million people in the world just like me. So I'm not unique to that situation. Um, but you know, the what use everything you have at your disposal, you guys, phones, computers, calendars, voice recorders, notebooks, files, and actually do it at the time you're booking, do it at the time you're talking to them on the phone. And if you can't do it right then, make yourself, you know, I call my memo on my phone, my verbal sticky notes, because I love sticky notes. Um, and again, I have to write everything down or I can't remember. So keep track of everything. Um, and creating these new and useful habits, you know, it's just, it, it, once you start doing it, I'm not going to say you're going to be perfect, you know, but you need to check your messages from all your media devices at least once, at least once a day. If you're advertising and you haven't been on Facebook for two days and you've got um, ads out there, how many people have you know responded to your ad and you haven't given them a message back or, or whatever? Same with email, your text messages, your phone number. You know, you have to, however you are advertising or whatever you have out there, you need to have some sort of habit set up that you don't go days without checking that media. Um, Instagram, Twitter, it doesn't matter. You need to check all your messages from all your media devices at least one time a day. Write out a schedule to keep you on task. You know, our jobs get in the way, J-O-Bs, our family gets in the way. I'm not saying any of these are bad, you know, you, but you have to have time for family. You have to have time for friends and fun. You need to allow for flexibility, you know, and it's all customer driven. Again, when a customer has a problem, you're not going to tell them, oh, you know, I only got three hours of sleep last night and I was going to take a little nap at noon, so I can't do that at noon. Who would say that? None of us, you know? I mean, in, in, it's all customer driven, so we do what we need to do to keep our clients happy, to keep our partners happy, and to keep our teammates happy. I mean, it just, you do that, you guys. And, and the, the more you get into doing these healthy habits, the easier it's going to be down the road. And the why, this will help you with your organization skills. It'll create an environment to which you'll start doing these things automatically every single time. It will save you time, energy, and frustration. And it allows you to give 110% to your clients. And again, I will say this, you guys, we all want it bad. That's why we joined this company. You know, we want it, we want it, we want it. But, you know, you have to be able to have things in place for you to give 110%, you know. When you can't find something and you need it for your client and you say, I'm going to have to call you back in 15 minutes, you know, I'm not saying that that's awful, but it, it, we can do things to not have that happen. So that's why I'm doing this training tonight. Business cards. So important. What good does it do if your potential clients and partners don't know how to contact you? I cannot stress enough. Um, about the business cards. You can make your own, 
you can have them printed, you know, I'm low, uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money. There's great programs on, I think I went to avery.com or something and they have cute templates. I mean, I just printed them out on my printer. Yeah, they're not, um, you know, million dollar cards, but the point is the clients and partners have all my contact information. I carry them with me everywhere and I leave them everywhere and give them to everyone. And I am not exaggerating. When you're out, um, put them in the magazines at the doctor's office, at the dentist, you know, attach them to anything. You know, Dwayne had a post and I never thought of this. He had them hooked to the Halloween bags of candy. You know, the parents are going through their kids' candy. Um, I mean, but you can attach them to anything. And I just cannot stress enough the importance of business cards. Always have them on you and give them to everybody and leave them everywhere. Three ring binder. So, um, you know, you guys, as you progress, you're going to start advertising travel deals. Every single one that I have ever presented to a person, whether it be a trip I booked, whether I put a trip together and advertise it on social media or put it on a flyer, um, I have a copy of it in my three ring binder. I carry this binder in my pickup truck. And potential people, when you're talking to them, love to look at all the trips, even if they were three months ago or four months ago and the clients have gone and, and, and been done or the cruises that I was advertising are done. You can't even book into them anymore. doesn't matter. It shows choices, diversity, your specialty. You know, you guys have expended the initial energy. Keep it going. You know, there's no need to throw them out. Put them in a binder. And when you guys go to vendor events, clients love it at my vendor events. I have these three ring binders. And I set them out and they go through and go, oh, oh, you know, they see all the different things that they can do. And it's inexpensive. You know, I just purchased the clear sheet protectors. I slide them right in the sheets and clip it in the binder. I mean, it is just priceless. I can't say enough. And again, you've already done the work. It's not like you're doing anything extra special. Instead of throwing it in the trash, use it to your benefit. Think outside the box. Again, it shows your craft, your dedication to your business. It's easy to accomplish and it's easy to carry around. I just keep one in the truck. When I'm out somewhere and someone says, oh, I heard you were a travel agent. Oh, can you do this or do that while we're making small talk or I'm getting information from them. I hand the other one the binder and they're looking through it going, hey, babe, look at this. Oh my gosh, I could go here. Oh, I never thought about going there. I, I just can't stress enough, you guys. The three ring binder has been like my little magic tool. <coughs> so... <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, I'm leaving this Thursday, or actually I'm leaving tomorrow night from Elk River, and I'm heading to Miami for Divas in Power meet and greet down in Miami. We're going to Biscayne Bay. Um, I have homework because my next Tuesday class, I'm not going to have time to prepare a, a presentation. So you guys are going to be my presentation next week. So this is your homework. Um, Treat me just like you would a client. Feel free to PM me, text me, or email me. Any questions, just please no phone calls because I'm leaving tomorrow. And like I said, I'll be in Miami. Um, so I'll probably have the ringer off on the phone. But um, And email all the quotes that you guys come up with for this trip to my email, tanyaadventurestravels.net. And then we'll go over these trip quotes, on, trip quotes on next week's training. And if you guys have a problem, do not be afraid to say, hey, this is all I have because I couldn't figure this out or I couldn't go there. That's the point of having these trainings. And then we can all learn from each other's problems or issues, you know. Um, again, we're not all perfect. We don't know everything. There's a lot of information out there. I think this will be really helpful. Again, it's recorded. I know a lot of people can't get on the webinar because of the time I have it. I'm actually thinking about moving the time back to 5.30 at night. Um, so... I will post that if it ends up being 5.30 next week, just to see if we can catch maybe a couple more people to get on the live webinar. Um, and again, if anyone needs this information, I will have um, this recording as soon as it converts and uploaded, I'll have the recording out on YouTube. And then if you want this individual information, um, I can private message it to you if you don't have a chance to get it off. So with that, that was my short and sweet presentation tonight. If anyone has any questions, feel free to type them in the chat box, please.
No questions? And I typed in the chat box that I'm hearing feedback. Can everyone hear me? Okay, LaShawn, that's what I was just, um, what's anybody's input on doing this at 5.30 at night instead of 5 p.m.? Would that be um, okay with everyone? You can go ahead and type it in the chat box if that's all right. Um, the reason I do them early, you guys, I am still working my J-O-B at the rec district, and on Tuesday nights, we have meetings um, once a month at 6.30 at night, and so I was kind of working it around that. Um, it gives me enough time with us jumping off here to get prepared and go to my other meeting um, for the rec district on the one time a month that I have to do that. But 5.30 would work. So I'm thinking next week it might be at 5.30. So I'll have to train, um, change the slide to say 5.30 instead of 5. It's giving me my little thing saying that if I don't pay an upgrade, we're going to be cut off. No, <laughs> I use the free version of um, Zoom. So stay with free. Anyone have any questions? And it does not have to be over what we're um, talked about tonight. We have about eight minutes. So if anyone has a question, um, again, if I can't answer it on here tonight, um, I will find someone who can help you and get the answer to you if you um, also send me the question on an instant message if I don't answer it here tonight. Everybody's all quiet. Oh, come on. Don't make me call people out. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to have a question about something. On this homework that we're doing. Yes. That we're going to, that we're going to try to do. Is there actually four adults and two children going on this? Or do you want two different? Um, they're traveling. Well, one for the two adults and then one for the two adults and the two children. They're traveling together. Okay. But we don't all want six of us in one room. So I want two rooms. Mom and dad with the kids in one room and then um, the grandma other. Grandma and grandpa. Okay. Yeah, grandma and that grandpa. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. And again, you guys, it, don't be afraid. You know, when you guys are jumping on these things, don't, and this is a perfect opportunity for you to try a vendor you've never used before because it's a make-believe um, trip, you know, and it gives you an opportunity to explore other vendors that you wouldn't normally um, go into or a chance to, you know, do a pretend trip and see what they have to offer. Um, this is how I started using Vax, and once I started using Vax, I love it. Um, I used TAP right when I first started, and VAX is so much more advanced and you can do so many more things. The client can pay with two credit cards. They take, they take payment arrangements as long as you're over X amount of days away from um, the travel dates. Um, the features and the activities you can book right at the same time that you're booking right into the booking. It's your airfare, hotel, transfers, rental cars, um, activities. I could just go on and on and on. And there's Funjet, Blue Sky, Southwest, United, American, uh, SeaWorld. I mean, there's so many different things. And if I hadn't been messing around trying to, uh, how can you get the homework? LaShawn, I'll private message you the, um, the homework. <laughs> yeah, anyone who wants the homework, let me know. If you can't get it off here because you're driving or unable to get it off here, I will send you the homework. And again, you know, um, 
I had a really good booking the other day and I kind of put it out there on the travel question site, you know, and I learned a valuable lesson, but I felt that other people can learn from my mistakes as well about Air Canada. Um, they operate a lot like Southwest, but you know, you have to buy your seats. You, you can, um, but it let me go in and pick the seats on the, um, on the reservation and I had no clue that the clients had to pay for their seats. So Carrie, I got you. And then, uh, so again, you what know, do you mean by what do you mean by pay for their seats? So they could have waited and got to the gate, Carrie, and they would have just got whatever seats were available at the gate. Southwest, Correct. Southwest does the same thing, but when you're on a on Vax and you book on Southwest, it says you cannot pick seats. You, Southwest does not assign seats. You pick your seat when you're boarding. It tells you right off the get go. When I booked for Air Canada for these clients. It let me pick their seats, and then a week later, it was still showing pending, and they paid in full for their trip. So I call Air Canada. They don't even want to deal with me because I'm a United States travel agent. And then I call Funjet and um, Vax, and finally got, it took the supervisor an hour to find the answer, and it was, they have a website you have to go to and pay $10 per leg. So that was every layover that they had, it was $10 per person per seat. They had to go in after the fact and pay for their seats if they wanted to sit together. There's no guarantees if you're traveling together that you can sit together on Air Canada. So, well, that's plumb stupid. Yeah. And I said, valuable lesson learned. So I put it out there, you know, because I, I felt like a real A, I'm going to be honest, an asshole, you know, because it's like I'm supposed to be a travel agent and know all this stuff. And the poor client ended up having to pay and they were fine with it. Um, even if they would have, in my case, because of the way the husband works and his travel schedule, that was the only choice that we had was to use Air Canada. But it would have been nice if they would have known that ahead of time and we didn't find out yeah. after the fact. So, you know, the way it worked out for me, thank goodness. But I mean, you know, those are the pitfalls that, that could lose somebody a client, you know, and I don't want that to happen to somebody else. So I'm human just like everybody else and I make mistakes. I'm not afraid to admit that I don't know everything. And uh, that's why I, you know, I do these trainings, you guys, just as much for myself as for you guys. And that's the honest truth. So, because again, I see myself as a platinum or a gold. I need to learn how to communicate with a team. You guys are helping me when you log on to this thing. You have no clue because I see myself in that position. I'm just saying, is that crazy? Yeah, it might be crazy, but. I'm taking every step so that when that happens, if it happens, when it happens, I've got the tools under my belt to be able to make it happen. You know, it just, it's that simple. So this is just as important to me as it is to you guys. So thank you. It's not crazy. Yeah. All right, you guys, I think we're going to have like two minutes and then it's going to cut this off. So does anyone have anything else they'd like to say before I cut us off? All righty. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. As soon as this gets uploaded, I'll share it on the sites. Um, that way, your team members or friends or whoever wants to watch it that wasn't able to get on can do so. Uh, oh, thanks, Cheryl. You guys have, have a, a good trip. Day. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'll send lots of pictures, girls. <laughs> All righty, you guys. Sunny, my ears. Do I? I Sunny. Sunny, uh, Miami. What? Have fun in Sunny, Miami. I know. I'm so excited. Thanks, Carrie. Be ready when I get back, girl. You'll be getting on the hustle. I'm telling you. All right, you guys, I'm going to end before it cuts me off. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. If I can find my stop button. <laughs> good night, ladies.